Good day, pupils at home. It's good to have you back on our online class. Teacher Uwa Omorodio is my name. I am taking the subject physical and health education. And today we'll be considering the topic movement patterns. Again, movement patterns. But before we go into the topic proper, let's have a word of prayer. Our Father, we thank you for the gift of today. We commit our class into your hands. We ask for the spirit of understanding and attentive mind. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, children, welcome back to our class. Today, in physical and health education, we'll be looking at the topic, movement patterns. What did I say? Movement patterns. Now, I can remember in basic one, you were taught what movement is. What movement is. And what is movement? Simply put, change in position. What did I say? Change in position. You can move the whole of the body or you can move parts of your body. Now, let me quickly do this. Are you watching me? Are you seeing me? What am I doing? I am moving. Now look at me again. Mm, I am also moving. These are movement patterns. These are what? Movement patterns. It can involve you moving your whole body or moving parts of your body. Now join me as we read Join me as we read what is on the board. Now let's go. Movement patterns refers to the various ways in which the body moves. The different ways that the body moves. It is the regular changes in position that the body parts respond to. Remember when I was telling you that you can move your whole body or you can move just part of your body they are all called movement what patterns now movement patterns can be grouped into four what did i say i said movement patterns can be grouped into four the very first type of movement pattern is the locomotor movement patterns join me as we take the word again locomotor movement Patterns. Now, what are locomotive movement patterns? What comes to your mind? Now, this movement involves you moving the whole part of your body. Really, this movement pattern involves moving the whole body. That is, for instance, I am standing here and I want to make this kind of movement. I'm going to move my body like this. What am I doing, children? Uh, I am walking. I am what? Walking. I'm actually moving the whole of my body. Now, another kind of examples under this locomotive movement pattern is running. Now, do you stand on the spot and run? No, you can never do that. You run on the tracks. You run like this and you are going like that. Run. To and fro like that. That's how you run. You are moving your whole body. Then we have jumping. Now, can you jump? I know you can jump, but please don't jump. Watch me as I jump. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. This is another kind of example under locomotor movement patterns. Then we have the hopping. You hop on the foot. You hop on the foot. Like this, you hop, raising one leg up. And there is another one I know you would love. How many of you have seen a skipping rope? Now, this is another kind of locomotor movement that involves you moving your whole body. Then you do that with the head of a rope. You, you take it across your head, over your head, and you lift your feet off the floor. These are the examples under locomotor movement patterns. Now, under movement pattern, the very second group is the non locomotor movement patterns children join me let's pronounce it together non 
locomoto movement patterns. Now, this movement patterns is done at a spot. You don't move your whole body. What you do rather is you move parts of your body. What did I say? You move parts of your body body now let's stand up everybody stand up okay let's go and we're going to do something called bending let's try to touch our knee what are we doing we are bending look me we are bending look at me we are bending we're bending i'm trying to touch my knee this is another kind of example under non-locomotor movement Patterns. Now, what is the other one? Stretching. Ah, we do this every morning. Virtually every one of you does this in the morning. That's money that you are enjoying your sleep. Ah, and mommy will just knock on your door. Then they knock on the door. I say, are you not going to school today? Oh, you just... Mommy. Oh. It is called what? Stretching. It is a type of movement. What? pattern but it is done at a spot you use part of your body to uh, do this kind of what movement then we have the other one known as twisting like this now stretching is your hands but twisting you look at it you're twisting this is twisting twisting and we have the turning how many of you can turn turn Turn, don't do that, oh, don't do that, just watch me do it. Turn, this is what? Turning. Then swaying. Swaying, you know when your moving is this gliding movement. That's your swaying. I think you, they will say you're, you're showing off. That is what? Swaying. It is a kind of movement pattern. Now, that, bring us, that brings us to the third uh, group of movement patterns. And it is known as manipulative movement patterns. Let's go over the word again. Manipulative movement patterns. Now, this uh, kind of movement patterns, now, this kind of movement patterns involve you using a certain kind of ski. A certain kind of word, ski, like throwing. This movement pattern involves you using parts of the body like the hand, the head, and also your foot. Also your what? Your foot. The, it involves you using your head, your hand, and your foot. Now, they include throwing. Have you, how many of you have seen basketball before? What do they use in playing basketball? They use majorly their hands they use their hands to what to push up the ball to go over the what net they also use the ball to pass to their uh playmates in order for them to score a goal that process is called shooting trying to push the ball to your partner is known as what shooting it falls under manipulative movement patterns then we have catching now, if the ball is thrown at you, will you allow the ball to uh, touch the uh, floor? No, you will not do that. You will try to cut it. That is a manipulative word kind of movement. You would not say, oh, let me wait for the ball to come. And the ball will just drop to the floor. No, you will be disqualified. So, while your uh, teammate is throwing the ball, you are trying to cut it. These are manipulative pattern movement. Then we have the kicking you want to score a goal. That's, that now you are using your leg. Remember I told you manipulative movement patterns are uh, movement that we make with usually our hands, our head, and our what? Our feet. Uh, so when the, you kick the ball, you try to pass it to your teammate. That is a manipulative movement pattern. Then we have heading. This one is this kind of uh, ski is usually used in football. When you see that the ball is shot up to the sky and 
you cannot, uh, you just do your calculation. And it's okay, hey, I can't get this ball with my foot. I can't get this ball with my hand because it's not handball. You, 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 you try to station yourself in a particular position where you hit the ball with your head. That's controlling the ball with your head. Controlling the ball with your head. All these different examples fall under the manipulative movement pattern. And we have the last group in movement pattern. It is called the creative reading movement patterns. The creative reading movement patterns. Now, this movement pattern usually goes with music and there is uniformity in it. There is what? Uniformity in it. You don't just go, okay, like, for instance, let me refer you back to manipulative. Mati ma manipulative, you have to calculate, okay, there's no special skill for heading the ball or catching the ball. But what you do is that you try to strike a balance. But here, is when they say reading, meaning it's uniform. There is, a, there is an order. There is a process to be followed. And it's usually associated with music. Now, example of this kind of mo movement is matching. Remember our entire sport? We say left, 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 left. Left. Now, when your commander is saying left, you will not raise your right leg. If you raise your right leg, you will be disqualified. Left. And the next thing you hear is left, right. Left, right. So you follow the instruction. You will not be lifting your right, right leg while you are asked to lift your left leg. So there is a pattern. That's why it is called creative reading movement. Then also balancing. Balancing is an advanced form of creative reading movement. Balancing. Walk on a spot, on a line, like this. Don't move your body. Just like that. Just be walking like that. It is different from uh, your normal, uh, your usual walking. No. You balance. Like sometimes you see people, they'll give them a very narrow uh, wood. They ask them to walk on it. Now, you have to station yourself. And with continuous practice, you'll be able to balance on that very narrow plank. And you walk on it. And we have freezing. Now, I remember when you did this dance. I think there's a way you people do it. I don't know if you have seen it before. Now, a group of persons, they are dancing. And all of a sudden, the music is stopped. And you said, action. You see, everybody will just stay the way they, they are. Some will be doing like this. That's how you stay. You don't change it. It is called what? Freezing. It is under the creative reading movement patterns. It is called the what? Creative reading movement patterns. This brings us to the end of our class today. But before I go, let's quickly do a recap of what we have learned today. Today, we have learned that movement patterns refers to the various ways in which the body moves. And these patterns can be grouped into four. They can be grouped into how many? I said four. The first one is the locomotor movement Pattern movement done at a spot, but you use parts of your body to do it. Then we have the manipulative movement pattern. This is a movement that you do with either your hands or your heads or your feet. Then we have the creative reading movement patterns. This is the movement pattern that is associated with sound and it has a pattern that you must follow. You don't just use your now let's just do it. No, there is a reading to be followed.